Public Accounts Committee urges review of COVID-19 public spending. The PAC releases its report. The Public Accounts Committee PAC, which serves as the parliamentary watchdog of public sector accounts, released its report for the financial year 2019 to 2020 yesterday. The PAC dedicated a significant portion of the report to concerns over COVID-19 related spending. It highlighted several key concerns that it believes should be addressed urgently, namely the uh, creation of mechanisms to reevaluate or cancel large-scale projects and reallocate resources when circumstances change. Ensure that support measures have resources directed effectively and observe the importance of proper governance and accountability over the spending of public funds. Mechanisms in place. The Ministry of Finance MOF responded to PAC queries by stating that there are already mechanisms in place to reevaluate projects and reassign resources when circumstances change. The MOF is cooperating with other government agencies to review expenditures on projects for which circumstances have changed. For instance, it is currently reviewing the expenditures incurred during the construction of Changi Airport Terminal 5, especially in view of the fall in travel numbers due to COVID-19 restrictions. Ensuring Support Measure Effectiveness the PAC noted that the MOF had issued nearly 100 billion in support measures in 2020, with a large proportion going to the job sports scheme, the self-employed person relief uh, income relief scheme, and the COVID-19 support grant. The PAC said that the government must ensure that the above support measures reach the groups being targeted, and most importantly, help the vulnerable members of society most. The MOF addressed this, clarifying that an interagency budget implementation committee was set up between the MOF and the Ministry of Social and Family Development in April 2020 to oversee the implementation of said support schemes. Proper Governance and Accountability the PAC wanted to know if government, uh, if government observed the importance of proper governance and accountability over the spending of public funds. The MOF replied that while it had activated government-wide emergency procurement procedures in January 2020 to provide agencies with access to funds to necessary uh, um, to uh, combat uh, COVID-19, um, such procedures were deactivated when the situation stabilised in August 2020. Furthermore, the MOF said that the emergency procurement procedures were subject to the same government's principles as normal procurement procedures present during non-emergencies. This consists of proper processes such as cost-benefit analysis, stringent audit checks and accountability reports. Lapses found the PAC found lapses at the National Library Board NLB, Workforce Singapore WSG, and Enterprise Singapore ESG, to name a few. Hence, the PAC found it imperative to carry out remedial actions to deal with the root causes of the lapses by establishing a framework by which government agencies could analyse problems and also check if remedial actions had been effective. The MOF replied that it had conducted a government-wide review in 2019 to examine misuse of grants and set up an interagency committee to form measures to clamp down on said misuse. The MOF also established a new framework for business grants that will be fully adopted by all government agencies by the end of the financial year 2021. The NLB, which falls under the Ministry of Communications and Information, was discovered to have mismanaged the refurbishment of the National Archives of Singapore leading to the project exceeding the approved costs. The officials involved in approving inappropriate grants had a disciplinary action taken against them. The WSG, which falls under the Ministry of Manpower, was found to have accepted double claims and dispensed double funding. Following this debacle, the WSG has since developed a new set of guidelines for its business partners that will be enforced from 2021 onwards. The ESG, which falls under the Ministry of Trade and Industry, has been observed approving grants that did not meet guidelines and had provided inconsistent criteria for grants. After this issue, the ESG strengthened checks to ensure that partner organisations complied with grant conditions. 
IT concerns. The PAC also highlighted IT concerns owing to the increasing pace of digitalization, outsourcing of IT operations to third party vendors, and inadequate monitoring of important account activity. The Smart Nation and Digital Governance Group, SNDGG, responded to these problems by raising awareness of cyber threats through the government's data security unit and automating staff account movement processes.